Howdy Arks, my name is Baron, or Reaper as some people call me, and this is a guide on how to play Ranger in PSO2 NGS. I've noticed a lot of newer players coming to the game since the Redum update, and some new Rangers are only using Rifle or Launcher. However, using both Rifle and Launcher will you only hit your max potential as a main Ranger player. If you want to complete red and purple triggers, both weapons are a must to help your team. For the basics, we'll start with a class setup. You should either be using Ranger Gunner or Ranger Force to keep your PP replenished. I personally use Ranger Gunner, but Ranger Force is also a good combo. Gear-wise, you should at least be using a 5-star weapon. Grego weapons sell for cheap, so it shouldn't be a problem obtaining one. You do not need Fixa at all for these weapons, however, if you were to buy or hunt for a Fixa ranged weapon like a rifle or a launcher, preferably you want Fixa Fatal for increased critical hit rate. Critical damage is very important, it does a lot of damage when it hits. Uh, do not listen to players that say critical rate or damage is not important, because it most certainly is, especially as a ranger. Units should at least get you to 150 PP. Any less than that, you will probably have problems with PP management. This is just what I preferably go for. 150 PP is pretty comfortable, and you can really spam your fear eraser, which we will talk about later. There is an easy way to save some Maceta when using a class that uses more uh, than one weapon, uh, and that's by creating multi weapons. As you can see, my multi weapon is a, ri a launcher rifle. I only had to augment and level up my launcher, and I just used a rifle as a material item. The rifle now has the same stats as the launcher, including the fixa that my launcher had on it. Thus saving me with setup by only having to upgrade one weapon instead of two. Skills from the skill tree, light rounds for both rifle and launcher, all sticky bomb skills, all spread shot skills. You should be able to get every ranger skill minus ward condition and reduction from the skill tree as of this video. Uh, you don't really need ward condition or ward reduction. Uh, spread shot, rifle grenade, and sticky bomb are all good for regenerating PP. Sticky bomb is timed so when it explodes on a target it will give you full PP instantly no matter if it's zeroed out or at 50 PP, whatever. Another issue I've seen is incorrect blot round placement, especially if there's more than one ranger in the battle. In most cases you should always be blotting the boss's main weak point with the exception of bosses like Nex and Dea del Sword, if they are not down. So if they're not down, preferably you want to shoot them in the foot. Then once they're downed, you want to move the blot round to their main weak point, usually their chest or some mix set middle segment on their uh, body. If you miss a blot round or misplace it, all rangers do it. Make sure you always have a backup shot or give the other ranger uh, in the battle, if there's more than two, uh, to reblot the target if you don't have a backup round. And always take time on your uh, blot rounds. It's good to just go ahead and hit it instead of spam them. As for strategy, when fighting bosses, your Fear Eraser Photon Art from your launcher will do the most damage to your enemies. It costs 30 PP to activate, and it needs 30 PP minimum to hit its maximum charge. The strategy is to place your Sticky Bomb, blot the target, or you can blot the target, then do Sticky Bomb. Hold for max charge, release, reblot, hold Fear Eraser for max charge again, reblot, hold, you know, keep, just rinse and repeat, basically. Make sure the blot round is kept up, so the second time you do that cycle, uh, your Sticky Bomb is not going to be ready. Like I said, your Sticky Bomb will blow up and immediately refill your PP, pee -pee. so you can just go ahead and do that whole cycle pretty much twice. So if you need to get your PP pee -pee back up, I know that sounds kind of weird to say, <laughs> but you can use your grenade shot to actually get you some PP as long as it hits the target. So if you use your grenade, uh, your rifle grenade in combo with your weapon action, like I do in the video, you'll see me dodging and shooting at the same time, that's just the rifle weapon action. Uh, if you do that, in addition with the rifle grenade, it will quickly refill your PB bar, no problem. And by then, surely your sticky bomb will be recharged so you can throw it and do the whole cycle again. Make sure that your blots 
black rounds are always kept up. I know I just put a lot of emphasis on the Fury Racer. However, your black rounds are more important than any of your photon arts, especially since you have all these players that are doing bonus damage with your black round in place. So always make sure that your black round is in place. Usually stays up for 20 seconds, especially if it's the purple one. You always want to keep that one up. It does bonus damage, uh, unlike the uh, red black round. So always want to make sure that that black round stays up so everybody's hitting it. <clears throat> When attacking, you're strongest in the air, high enough off the ground that your ground attacks will not hurt you, but at a good attack angle. Most bosses you want to be firing downward, like at a downward angle at them, making it easier to hit your shots with your rifle grenade and blot rounds, especially the rifle grenade because it does splash damage. So if you just so happen to miss just a little and it hits the ground right beside them, it blows up, it'll still do damage to them. However, if you want to stay, you want to stay a good distance away from the enemy, as shown in the video. Finding the optimal range increases your damage as Ranger. If you're having trouble with enemy's weak point, the multi-launch photon art can hit weak points that are facing away from you. So don't be afraid to use that instead of your Fear Eraser if you have to. I almost forgot one thing. So Ranger has two photon blasts and each are different depending on what weapon you're using. So if you're using the rifle, you're going to call in the satellite cannon. That's obviously only good for hitting uh, enemies that have weak points on the top of their head or if you're doing a PSE burst it does a very wide area uh, of damage um, but the main one you want to use for bosses weak points is with the launcher because it is a directional so whichever way your cannon is facing that's where it's going to go it doesn't come down from the sky so if you're trying to hit a boss's weak point preferably you want to use the launcher's photon blast not the rifles you will do the most damage that way of course, you can play the game how you want, but if you want to hit your max potential as a ranger and help out your team, these are a must. If you have any tips on how to live a better pew pew life than PS3 and GS as a ranger, leave it down in the comments. Thanks and good luck out there.